Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a fast and easy face swap workflow that gives amazing results even if you're using a low VRAM setup. As you can see, here are a few examples I've already created. They look super clean and realistic in comfy UI and we'll also show you a website that can do face swaps in the late part of the video. For this tutorial, we'll be using Reactor, one of the most powerful and stable face swap tools available for Comfy UI. Now, this is the official GitHub page for Reactor. Even though the repository might look a bit old, it's still one of the best tools for face swapping, and recently, it got a few new updates and extra settings that make it even better. So here are some examples from the GitHub page itself. You can check them out if you want to experiment more. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a very fast, lightweight, and low VRAM face swap workflow that still looks professional. All right, let's jump into Comfy UI and see a few examples. Here on the left, we have our source image or video. And on the right, you can see the swapped version. The results look pretty impressive, and you can clearly notice how well the color tones and skin texture match the video. In this tutorial, I'll show you both image to video and video to video face swaps, so you can try whichever works best for your setup. And don't worry if you're running on a normal PC, I'll also explain how to do this even if you don't have a high-end GPU. Now, let's try a few more examples. On the left-hand side, we have our reference image, and we'll be using Reactor for the swap. The best part is, Reactor only needs about three nodes to get great results. This is the result we got looks pretty decent, right? In one of my earlier runs, I made a small mistake while combining the video and image nodes, which gave me just an image output instead of a video. So make sure you connect the correct inputs image to image or video to video, depending on what you're doing. For me, most video swaps took around six, seven minutes, while images took just 30 seconds. That's super quick. Now, let's take a look at the main face swap node. You can choose from several models. I personally use the restore option here, and that gave me pretty sharp and accurate results. If you tweak the settings a little, you might get slightly different looks. So feel free to experiment and see which one works best for your specific case. Here's another example. Notice how the face shape and lighting were perfectly recognized. Even when the reference face was thinner, the swap maintained that natural look. Now, if you don't have a GPU or want a cloud-based option, there's a great website called Remaker.ai. It offers multiple AI tools, and one of them is a really solid face swap feature. So here's how it works. You upload your base image, and the face image you want to use, for example, putting this girl's face onto another person's photo. And here's the result looks incredibly natural. In fact, one of the earlier examples I showed you was actually from Remake. If you thought that was the original photo surprise, that was a face swap. That's how good this site is. You can even perform multiple face swaps in a single image. I tried one with Kylie Jenner and another model, and both came out really well. Now, as you can see, on the left is the original image, and on the right is the face swapped image. And in that image, I have swapped Ana de Armas and Sydney Sweeney, and it looks so good. Moving to video swaps, here's an example with Sydney Sweeney's face. On top, we have the original video, and below, the swapped one, and the accuracy is on point. The expressions, angles, and lighting all blend beautifully. Let's head back to Comfy UI again. This is the same video swap workflow, and it's extremely easy to use. In this setup, we're not extending or generating the video, just directly swapping the faces, keeping everything else as is. I'm running this on an RTX 4090, but the exact same workflow runs perfectly fine on a six gigabytes GPU. It'll just take a bit longer. Since it's a very lightweight process, anyone can try it. And as you can see, the results speak for themselves. The face swap looks clean, accurate, and natural. 
If your output doesn't come out as clear, you can try enabling the face booster option. Here's a comparison. The left side has face booster on and the right side has it OFF. You can clearly see the difference in sharpness and detail. I've built this quick and low VRAM workflow so you can get high quality results without pushing your system too hard. And that's it for this tutorial. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me keep creating more content like this. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.